Welcome to the Keyword Clusterizer Google Sheet add-on. With this tool, you will be able to sort and organize thousands of keywords in a visual, collaborative, and understandable way in just under a few minutes. Now, we are digital marketing experts, and we have built this tool for people like us. So if you are trying to upload Google ad account structures and ads via Google Ads Editor, uh, design website hierarchies for SEO purposes, or build market demand competitive research reports, then you just might like the keyword clusterizer. So let's get into how we use this Google sheet add-on. First, we have to export our data from our favorite keyword research tool and import it into Google Sheets. Now, the Keyword Clusterizer currently supports all of the keyword tools that you find, like Ahref, Moz, SEMrush, Keyword Tool, and Keyword Planner, and basically any sheet that contains a keyword column. Now, if you would like to import from multiple sources, you can also do so. Just make a new tab and import your data into that sheet. You can see that we have one sheet per data source. The Keyword Clusterizer will blend all of this data for you. Now, for this video, we will be using Google's Keyword Planner tool to get our keyword data from. Here we have a list of keywords around used cars. In order to clusterize these keywords, we just have to simply click add-ons, clusterizer, run clusterizer. The keyword clusterizer will start creating new tabs within your sheets. And by default, all of your keywords will be clustered into your hot tab on the very first run. Let's take a look at the hot, cold, and maybe tabs, what they are and how to use them. These tabs are here to help you organize your keywords based on their importance to your business. The hot tab is reserved for the keywords that you really wanna focus on, commonly keywords with commercial intent, but not always. The maybe tab is reserved here for keywords that you do not want to use at this time, maybe later. Sometimes we use these for blog posts or Google ad keywords to be used with future budgets. And the cold tab is here. This is for keywords that you want to avoid, often used as negative keyword lists in Google ads. Now, in order for you to move your keywords in and out of these tabs, we just have to make a selection via the drop down menu at each level of your clusters. If you click cold at the keyword level, then this keyword will be moved and reclustered into the cold tab on the next run. These hot, cold, and maybe selections also work hierarchically. That is to say that if you choose maybe at the subcategory level, all of the keywords within this subcategory will be moved to the maybe tab, unless otherwise specified as hot or cold. The same principle applies to the categories column as well. This helps us move large clusters into other tabs with just a couple of clicks. Organizing keywords into hot, cold, and maybe tabs really helps us visually organize and sort our keywords into a structure that we can either use for Google Ads accounts, SEO hierarchy, or demand market research reports. But this is also something that we can present to our clients that is easy to understand, visual, modifiable, updatable, collaborative, and always up to date. Oftentimes we work with our clients simultaneously in this very Google Sheet and organize their keywords into hot, colds, and maybe tabs with them. Now this is very good because oftentimes we are not as familiar with our clients' businesses as they are themselves. And this is a great way to get their input on the keywords to be used. You can coach your clients on what might be or what might not be a good keyword for their business and let multiple people sort on the sheets in real time. Once you are done sorting your keywords into hot, cold, and maybes, you can rerun the keyword clusterizer. And when it's done, you can see that all of the keywords have been reclustered and placed in the appropriate tab. You can also apply conditional formatting to your keyword clusters. Now this does slow down the processing time a bit, but anything under 1000 keywords is well worth the wait for a bit more visuality when sorting. Oftentimes we do not use these internally. However, apply it before we share it with the client. Let's move on to the forced and irrelevant categories tab. This tab is linked to the checkboxes on your category clusters here. From your clusters, you are able to look at how the categories were defined, and you're also able to choose what might not be a relevant category for your keyword research, but also force a category that you really like. You can simply click either the green check or the red check. By clicking the green check next to a category, the keyword clusterizer will keep creating this category on future runs. By clicking the red check next to a category, the keyword clusterizer will not create this cluster again, and the keywords it contains will be re redistributed to other categories. Any checks that you add along the way will also be added to this tab. You can also manually import any forced or irrelevant categories in bulk. Finally, we have the negative and positive keywords tab. With this tab, you can manually input keywords in bulk to move any keyword with that term to the hot or cold tab. You can also modify your keywords with the same legacy Google Ads match type logic that you already know, broad match, phrase match, and exact match. We can also do the same by adding positive keywords, rerunning the clusterizer, and asking that to take it into account. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in this video, message us at any time, or visit our YouTube channel for more tutorial videos.